efficient strategy today we've got the vlog and we are back in the elements um our season is back open it's the second weekend of season and we've cruised up to bronte lagoon this morning through the snow and um yeah we're just going to be throwing some hard bodies some plastics trying to get onto a couple of trouties might go to another lake see how the day unfolds but um yeah anyway i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna pick up a lure and um, i'm gonna start pegging some casts in as much as my arm's sore and i really i'm just gonna yeet them out but we'll just we'll give it a crack so i'll see you guys when we're on i'd like to take a moment to thank the following brands for sponsoring this video these guys help me out with gear and looking after my boat, so make sure to get in and support these guys so they can continue to support me to make Fish Australia videos like this one. I hope you guys enjoy the video. <sighs> Dude. We have done it. <laughs> oh. So um, our first spot was a bit of a bust. There wasn't really much wind cover. So um, we sort of moved up more into some weeds. Oh, that was it. Oh, righto. What have you done? Give us a walkthrough of your tactics. I've um, I've let it fly away. <laughs> No line for the fish to be through. Yeah, yeah, look, the plastic's about 100 metres that way. They'll eat it and we'll just go, we'll just go pick them up later. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bronte's been pretty quiet this morning and there's not much wind cover on it, so um, we're going to use this not much wind and we're going to go for a little drive up to Echo and have a look, because I've never really done much on Echo. Looks nice structure and with not much wind, the tinny will be able to get get to places so um yeah we're gonna go back to the boat ramp and we'll see you guys on echo oh um i might actually take the net for this one he's a little bit so i had a hit and um i missed him because i was talking and then um i had another cast up in and it'll be a different one. Oh, he's barely pinned. He's barely pinned. Woo! We've done it. Change it. Change is definitely worth it. Um, I might grab a photo with a... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there is so many fish here. <laughs> you literally... I cast it out, I dropped one. And then... <laughs> And then I caught one, and then... Can you see a rod just... Yeah, it's, it's a two-piece, it's all good. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh well, we'll get some... I'll get a pick of mine. I might as well take a double up photo while we got the opportunity. Oh look at him. Beautiful trout, pinned on that little 63 for Australia. First nice little one. Nope. Here's another not bad one. Oh, he's nothing special. He's a boat flipper. Oh, maybe he's not a boat flipper. <laughs> oh. Ew. Another nice one on that. Oh, Ooh. sorry. On that 63. Going trout. Awesome colour for um early season. They are. Get a nice little photo of this one and chuck him back. Well guys, it is well snowing on us here. Like proper snow. Um I just thought I'd go through what sort of technique I'm finding these echo brownies on. So um She's pretty, the bank we're fishing at the moment is pretty, um, like, deep. So we're hard up on the rocks. And then I've just been getting all my fish on a pause. So just literally, like, twitch, 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 pause. 
like mixing up. Sometimes I do three, sometimes I just do a little two, sometimes I'll do four. Um, yeah, and just working. The good thing about these 63s, so they're suspending, so um, you can really like whip, rip them down. And if um, you do hit the bottom, you can just sort of pause your lure and then it'll just bounce back up. But um, yeah, like all of our fish from Echo have come on pauses, so um, that's 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 the geo. So we'll keep on we'll keep on doing it in this lovely warm summer's day, 100% summer. Um, and yeah, we'll get some more fish. Well, so good. Um, so. <laughs> I had a bit of a mishap and um, I um, snapped my um, new rod with me um, 63 on it. So I picked up me little liquid gold black tie and um, yeah, caught a little one. So I might fish with this for a little bit. Um, yeah, there another another lure down at the fisherman shed. So yeah. That trout just came up right in front of us. Oh, he's coming for it. No way. No way. That is. Oh, can you get the net? Oh, no. No. He. I literally saw him come up. He ate a fly like there and didn't see us. I got him eating it. Yeah. I didn't get him the fly because I was just in my own world. And then I saw this trout just go. That's so random. He was better too. Yeah, he was all right. Like he was, he was skinny, but he was another nice fish, like lengthwise. That's so random. Oh yeah, that was a log. I got a rock if that counts. <laughs> that looks like a brim. <laughs> I saw it like a tap. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not bad. He's the best of the day. He'd be a couple. Oh, I've got a rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, sweet. Lovely. Oh, well, we'll get him sorted. Get some. Get some photos. You want a photo with him, won't you? Yeah. yeah. There he is, on the plucky. Lovely little brownie. We get him back. Going left. Lovely. He's a nice one. So I just had that change, a change from brook trout to a brown trout, just to go something a little bit more natural. And we'll put ourselves a nice one. These last couple of fish, like, what, your one would have been around two and a bit. Yeah. Alex has dropped another one at about, three is a little bit bigger um this one's probably around two mark so there's some nice fish in between them there's some nice fish we'll um get some photos of this one and we'll get him back yeah on the brown trout for that one another nice beautiful jumping <laughs> brown trout um we're gonna keep this one for a feed so um yeah Working good, loving it. Ooh. Huge. 
We thought we were on. Oh, fair hooked. <laughs> Loves it. First cast into the scenery, right here, bang, gonna be on in about seven seconds. No. <gasps> oh my oh. god, no way. I told you I was gonna be on in seven seconds. <laughs> no way that worked. That's like number nine. We've had a ripping day. On that branch out again. Just doing the old twitch twitch paws. Picked her up on the paws. Lovely brownie. He doesn't want to stick around. He wants to get home. Back he goes. Ooh. Seven. Oh. Oh. oh, I'll take number 10. <laughs> he's, like, he's not even a bad fish. He's a beautiful coloured fish, actually. That's wicked. They're just so enthused on the paws. Like, they just want it paused. Like, all my hits have been on the paws. Alex has been getting them on the plastics but while it's sinking most of the time. It's just wicked. We're almost up to 20. What, you're on like 8? 6, yeah, 7, 8. 7? Seven. 7, I think. 3 off the 20. It's only midday. Yo! As hard as it is for me to do, I'm going to put down the hard body. And I'm going to get out of my comfort zones. I'm going. I'm going to pick up a plastic. Lucky enough, um, up at after um, last weekend, I saw some of the new Rapala soft plastics. So I got one of their little paddle tail side on. Have a look. See if we're going to get a trout on him. But um, yeah, we're both fishing plastics. This is unseen before. Unseen content. All right. Yeah. I know you probably already did it. Sometimes I just leave them at fucking time. Bad habit. Bad habit. Oh! Ooh. He's good. Oh, that is good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Rapala soft plastics work. I've, I'm a changed man. I've done the, he is so blue. He's really blue, isn't he? He's a nice fish. He's the exact same color of the soft plastic, believe it or not. Black top, silver belly, black top, I was about to say brim. <laughs> black top trout and silver bottom. That did not take long either. He's a pretty skinny boy, but He's engulfed that plastic. Probably needed it. <laughs> yeah, lovely fish. There we go. Lovely trout. Pretty cool colours, like nice silver, very blue at the top. How I was driveling on about the plastic. Same sort of colours. Um, yeah, nice one. We'll let him get back down to his treat. To be honest, to be honest, I want a neck job before we get some sausages, if that's okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> this is a joke. Oh, 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 mate, what are you doing? Oh, he just popped yeah, out. Another good one. Probably around that one and a half, two mark. Nothing special at the moment. <laughs> On that Rapala plastic again. Oh, will he take it again? <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is insanely good fishing. What's that, 12 and eight? Yep. So that's, we've hit the 20. Fish and Australia like Echo the movie.
Ooh. He's having a bit of a play. He's not even bad. Another beautiful fish. Um, I'm thinking screw it, I might have a feed. So I might keep this baddie. You got your plasty? Yep. But yeah, another one on that Rapala plastic. So I'm really liking them. They've got a nice little, nice little tail action. Perfect size for your trout and brim. Sort of uses. Ugh. If I can get them off. But yeah. Ew. Uh, that means I gotta clean him. I can't be bothered. And I'm snagged. That feels good. Oh, he's alright. I was still taking that. He's a nice fish. He's not bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Vogel get his um hook set sorted um, because he's dropped like two in the last bit. So I'm just gonna sit with this one in the net, try and get a double up photo, get something sorted. But yeah, another one on that little Rapala plastic's a nice one at that too. Oh, dodgy, dodgy. We love life. I don't know why I said that. That was pretty weird. After about 14 snags, we're finally connected to a fish. Comeback season. Nice little brownie. Back he goes. That's got to be like the earliest redfin caught in season. Ever. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> Usually they don't come out to it. It's at least 40. 40 degrees. Um, well, that's lovely. Um, now I've got to dispose of him. Oh, well, that's different. Fuck it, I'll have one more. What the fuck? I knew it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I must, I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, everything's going on. <laughs> Look, there's a bit on. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I did that. I didn't even think. I'm just like, yoink. Nice one. That was on a little swim bait. Throwing something different, just... Oh, that wasn't the boat good. They've been that on it today. Fog thought, screw it. I'll throw a swim bait. But he's done it. So we're either, we're on, that's 28, we're either staying till 30, or we're going to go on the next sort of 10, 15. So we'll get a bit, get a bit of a wriggle on, try and get a couple more. But yeah, we'll get this one back and try and get some more. Yeah. Come on, he's wrapped up in line that much, but it looks like I've got one foot later. I thought my rod just snapped. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I need it. I was like choking him with the lawn. <laughs> oh well. We are we are one away from the illicit 30. And then we can go home. But um yeah, another one on that fish in Australia. I'm not even gonna bother with a photo, he's not you're not that dude. If he if he'll let me open his drawer I might let him go. There we go. Fish and Australia lure out. Trout back. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of a very, very eventful day on um, Lake Echo. Um, about, I think it was about 30 fish caught all up. Heaps on plastics. Fair few on Fish and Australia lures. Um, a couple on swim baits in the end. But, um... No, we could we could start to the season. Um, happy just to be back up at the lakes, doing my thing. But um, anyway, we're gonna wander out and get home and get sorted for life tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's been a pleasure. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you heaps for watching right till the end because there's no doubt it will be a long one. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo.